Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to another Transformers review. Today we are going to be taking a look at 1998's Transform Metals 2 Dinobot from, of course, Beast Wars. And as you can see, he's very Transmetal. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys like the review, give me a like below. It's <laughs> kidding. Um, here we go. Uh, here is the Transmetals 2 Beast Wars Dinobot. And just for comparison, here he is with his original Beast Mode from the original run of, of course, Beast Wars. It's in the title. Uh, as you can kind of see, they did kind of do him more to how he looked in the show. This was kind of more, they tried to do more of a color appropriate to what he kind of looked like in the show. That's for a different review. But as you can see, you know, how he scaled with him. Uh, let's take a look at G1 Twin Twist. See the size on him. And let's look at Titans Returns Overlord. So, you can have an idea of his size. Uh, he does have pretty good articulation. He also does have this tail gimmick. This little plastic part right here. Can swing his tail around like a frustrated blizzard. I didn't get my pudding cup today. Uh, he does have really good articulation. He's got a lot of ball joints, but that's mainly because of his beast mode. Uh, funny story. <laughs> I was going to do this review sooner, but it was just a matter of uh, me trying to find my extra one. I do have two on those parts. I know it's scrap. Um, I'm glad that I did because when I got this guy, he had two left arms. So, yeah. He had two arms like this, so it looked really weird, and I didn't realize it until, like, days and days and days went by. So, I got that fixed, so now he has an appropriate arm. Uh, he does have a lot of ball joints, and he does have some really good... Well, as good as it can be. <laughs> he does have some kind of claw action, like with his weird looking raptor hand. I don't have a plausible thumb. But he does have some decent articulation for it being as old as it is. 1998 was not yesterday. Although I wish it was. <laughs> uh, legs. Got a ball joint at the hip. So he do get some good range. He also, his arms do have a full 360 also. <laughs> that, that happens. Uh, but he does can... No, he does have 360. Not an Xbox, but it's 1998. I know. Uh, not a good time for references. Uh, but yeah, he does have some good knee knee joint, and he also does have some in the foot slightly, and also his ankle. But that's mainly for. Uh, actually, I'm not too sure. I guess that'd be for, more for his robot mode because he doesn't have that in his beast mode. No spoiler. Uh, his tail can be removed. For what reason? I don't know. He can't hold it. He doesn't have the hands to hold it, much like his uh, original beast beast mode. Uh, but he does have some good articulation with the figure overall. Not so much the, the, the tail, but I mean, again, he's he used tail whip. It was not effective. <laughs> but good molding, though. At least on that part. Very skeletal. Almost said skeletal. Yeah! Um, just have, much like all the other... Well, I don't want to keep saying all the other. I wouldn't actually... I don't want to say that whatsoever. Uh, like most. Like most of the Beast Wars figures... He does have a spark crystal, if you can see it. And of course, oh, he's a he's a Predacon. Who 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 would have thunk? And in his head, he does have the head accurate um, from the show too. So props on that. Back continues with the skeletal ripples of the spine. And the thing with the trans metals, they had like a vacuumized paint on them. And unfortunately, a lot of them don't have that paint on them as good as they once did at one point, about 
20 years ago. Um, <laughs> there are, there's quite a few. My spare that I have, his purple paint's pretty much all gone. It's all silver. Uh, mine's starting to kind of get to that point on certain spots. If you look right there, then on the head, you can kind of see that vacuum purple is starting to dissipate, which is sad, but when you have a toy that old and this wasn't mine originally, who knows where it was at. But there is some paint damage, but again, I mean, it was used, I got it. I'm not complaining. But we're going to go ahead, we're going to transform him now. And I should know enough <laughs> by now. Oh, uh, you're going to want to rip off his tail in pain. Except for his spine. Um, best part I like to start off with is the front. You just want to just bring that down. So just want to bring these out of the way. Get them pushed off to the side. Or I guess down in this case. Come to the back. Just pull that all down. And then this little radioactive looking sign thing right there. See it good? Just pull that down. It's one whole part. And just bring. It's on a swivel. Come in. And. It's really hard to. There we go. So you have this spot right here. And it'll just plug in right there. A little tricky because it doesn't want to really stay in like at one point it probably used to. The plastic's probably just warped. I'm sure you and the figure collection uh, community probably understands. Well, most likely you do. I'm pretty sure you've run into it yourself. <laughs> and so you just want to bring that out of the way. So we're about this way. At this point, it just looks like someone dropped it off the shelf. <laughs> uh, little flaps right there, put on a pin, let's move those, and now, this is where the fun begins, I just want to just bring those all the way down, so now it looks like some monstrosity of hate and everything that you don't like in life, and uh, <laughs> his waist is on a pin too, it's on a Actually, it's more like a swivel. I just want to just bring that forward so his feet are now his his hands. And again, that's probably really strange. But, that's besides the point. Now, bring his legs like so. Bring them down to the side. So everything's flat like that. We're not that. We're not at that point yet. <laughs> um, this little tab right here, we'll just tab in right there. So you got it like this. And now you're gonna want to put these tabs down. So now it looks like he's confused. Hmm. <laughs> And then you just want to just fix his arms, readjust his his feet. So, ta-da! So he's got his giant raptor toenails. You need to cut your toenails. Also, I just realized that this has popped out too. So, I think it's just the plastics just. Again, the toy wasn't mine originally. Uh, I don't know what it, kind of chaos it went through at one point. Let me just bring those up like that. Fix his legs. Come back to his tail. And the tail bone's connected to the spinal cord. And there you go, there is his raptor. And all we need is Star Lord to train him. There you guys go. There he is. In all of his beast modality. Beast all of his bestiality. <laughs> um, again, I mean, he, 
he, he loses some articulation, but not like you're missing out on a whole lot. Uh, he still has excited dog mode. Um, he could probably poke you really softly with his raptor claws. <laughs> and he's got really weird hands. I really don't understand what this whole thing was going for, but... Alright. I'm not the boss here. Uh, again, you can also open up his brain from this point. I just like how they decided to put, you know, his spark core in his brain. Um, so, focus good. He does have, like, detail in the mold of his eye, and he does have some predator action. What was that? Was it? No, not predator. Alien. They have, they're getting my aliens mixed up. Not to be confused with Predator, because they are an alien. I guess we'd be an alien to him. Anyways, there is his mouth, with his second mouth. And yeah, um, I mean, it's a Beast Wars figure. Uh, they do have a very special place in my heart. I grew up with Beast Wars, watching it with my dad and my brother. Uh, my brother actually used to have the original Megatron, the original Optimus Primal. He had Polar Claw, and he had the Wolf. And, uh, so, I mean, I have very, very fond memories of Beast Wars, so being able to collect Beast Wars is a very special place in my spot. So, hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you guys liked it, drop me a like. If you guys want to, you know, let me know what you guys thought, throw it in the comments below. I, I read every comment that I see, so... Uh, also, if you guys like to, I have Instagram. You can go ahead, follow me on Instagram. It is at the with an A underscore robotic underscore beastman. I post a lot of the figures up on there, and also on Facebook at official Nerdel Beastman Transformers. Again, thank you guys for watching, and keep in tune because you thought we were done with dinosaurs. Nah, nah, we weren't. Da, da, da. Yeah.